here's a statement I'm sure comes as no surprise to you. You do not agree with Parmenides. Even if you think, even if you try to say, I agree with Parmenides, you have not disagreed with Parmenides because you have saying there's at least two things, you and Parmenides. <laughs> so now you don't agree with Parmenides. Now, here's the problem. At least, you know, as we've constructed it, right? Parmenides' conclusion is the product of a deductively valid argument. You've seen this before, but I'm reproducing in here. That means, as we've seen before, we can't just reject the conclusion and walk away. Right. If it's a deductively valid argument, if the premises are true, the conclusion must be true. So if the conclusion is false, at least one of the premises must be false. So if you're going to reject Parmenides' conclusion, and that's fine, right? you can, that's no problem, you have to show which premise is false and why. Here are the premises upon which Parmenides' argument relies. If you reject this conclusion, you're saying one of these propositions here, one of these premises here is false. But our work still isn't over. If you claim that a proposition is false, you are logically committed to its contradictory. And every proposition has a contradictory. So if you reject these premises, you are committed to one of these uh, contradictories. So, which contradictory are you going to stick with and why? Mm -hmm.